FX 94.3 FM. Ladies and gentlemen, with Prestonsburg Tourism, Miss Samantha Johnson. Hello. How you that doing? That was a fun intro. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 was try, I was trying to do a good job, you know? I love it. Thank you. Y'all have been very busy in the Star City. Y'all have yeah. all types of going-ons all the time, it seems like. There's always something to do in Prestonsburg this summer. Yeah, I've uh, I've not slept in a little bit, but it's exciting. <laughs> you know, it, it it feels like it went from zero to a hundred real quick. But um, I certainly can't complain after the last year of, yeah. of just being ready, just wanting to be back with our community uh, to finally be able to do that is is very exciting. So yeah, we've got a lot going on. We're just like bursting at the seams with things to do right now. <laughs> yeah, especially this week. I mean, you have a lot going on. Yeah, so 4th of July, I would say between 4th of July and Christmas season, you just see Prestonsburg come alive. Like, it is just in our hearts and spirits so much those two seasons. But, um, you know, just even from the fireworks alone, so we have the second largest firework display in the state of Kentucky. So a town of 3,500 is just behind Louisville in terms of the firework display. Um, but even throughout the day, so of course we're gonna we're gonna cap the weekend with a fantastic show. It's gonna be awesome. But all weekend long between the Appalachian Strings and Things Music Festival, Cocktail Crawl, Star City Day, uh, we've got a lot of great chances for for live music and art and shopping and food and just just fellowship overall. Yeah, I mean like literally something for everybody. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to the uh, Appalachian strings and things. I mean, the lineup for that is just crazy. Yeah, I've I I was familiar with some of the artists. I have gotten to learn and research several others. This is one of the music festivals it was supposed to be scheduled last year and mm-hmm. we know how that went. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, we're so thankful to get to to reschedule it and it's it's really the first of its kind in Kentucky. And so um, some of the headliners from Sideline to Mountain Heart, and we've got Mama Said String Band, who is absolutely just killing it right now, and yeah. several other artists. But it it really is a celebration of Appalachian music and, and artistry and everything from that traditional bluegrass music all the way through very modern and just funky and fun Bluegrass, but in bluegrass of a way that you have never heard it before. People are, that are just revolutionizing this Appalachian sound. So it's yeah. gonna be, it's gonna be a really fun show. And, and what we say with this one is, is this is the show for music lovers. I, I'm, I mean, it really is. And, and it's funny how you bring that up. Bluegrass really is kind of reinventing mm-hmm. itself nowadays. Uh, there's this one artist by the name of Billy Strings. I knew that's what you were going to oh, say. Yeah, oh, love yeah. Billy Strings. Love Billy Strings. And it seems yeah. like, um, you know, he's kind of starting a uh, a rebirth of bluegrass and putting a whole new spin on it. Yeah. And a lot of these uh, other artists, like, you know, Cold Town Dixie and mm-hmm. Mama Said String Band and folks like that, they have their own style and their own sound. And, yeah, I mean, it's, it's going to be a blue bluegrass not but you're going to hear all different types of versions Mm -hmm. of bluegrass everybody thinks that it's still just the old style banjo picking oh no no it's a you, you know, you don't know what to expect with each and every band. Yeah. And, and also, uh, is there going to be a uh, cocktail crawl? Oh, yes, there the... is. So we, uh, we've we never done one of these in a, in a you know, full-on fashion with it. So this we're partnering mainly with, with ticket goers to the music festival, but we're also, it, it's very limited capacity, so we are opening it up to others within reason that we can pick you up and drop you off in a safe way. Um, but we are going to be partnering up with four of our local watering holes for to get into the spirit of the festival. Um, but each of the four locations from uh, about Stonecrest, El Rodeo, Pig and a Poke Brick House, they're all partnering to create a completely unique drink so it'll include Mm. four beverages four spots there's everything from karaoke to live music you'll have local tour guides with you transportation with it and so we're gonna we're gonna be going for a few hours just having some fun um and really uh, not to call it a pre-game we're calling it a pre-fest right a little more civilized (laughs) Uh, but it's gonna be a lot of fun in a way 
for people to get to know each other before the music festival too, because the this music festival is is a little bit different. It's at the amphitheater, so you're seated, yeah. and so this is just going to be a really cool way for you get to to know other music lovers around you too, and, and to get ready for the show that'll kick off the next night on Friday and Saturday. And I love how y'all are going to have tourism guides with it too, because. Prestonsburg, I mean, you can drive through it and see a lot of beautiful sites, but there's also so many hidden places there in the sure. Star City that some, if you're not familiar with the area, you may not know is there. Yeah. So that's a very cool that y'all are going to be showing folks around for the uh, big festival. Oh, yeah. We're going to have some fun. We have sure missed our tour groups. We're excited to welcome groups back this year. And so we're going to partner right up and, and share some fun stories and, and just get to know everyone. And also, I mean, uh, where it's happening at the Jenny Wiley Amphitheater, this is one of the only amphitheaters in yeah. quite a distance drive. Yeah. And if nobody's ever seen a concert at an amphitheater mm -hmm. it's a, a totally different experience yeah this is this is one it's right in the middle of the mountains and and for a long time the venue was was known and synonymous with theater and then finally we've been able to put some music in there and just the way that it sounds and builds right in the heart of the mountains and then you look up and see the stars at night yeah. and it's just you know, someone once told me, because I've just recently gotten to bluegrass music, and it wasn't until I saw it live. I never understood it listening on a radio, mm -hmm. and then I saw it live, and it was the most mesmerizing thing I've ever seen. And, and somebody told me, they said, bluegrass music to them is the closest that human musicians have gotten to recreating the sounds of nature. And I thought, whoa, huh, that oh is my gosh. deep. Yeah. And then so to know that and to always think that was just like the most incredible thing I've heard. So to have wow. that in the mountains at the amphitheater is just going to be it's going to be a heck of a show. So if, yeah. if people and, and there's two different passes, you can do a full weekend pass, both shows. Um, or if you're only able to do a Friday or Saturday, you're also able to split those up and do just eat one night. Um, it, it's one that. You want to be at, absolutely. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, this is the first festival to happen around here in, uh, well, at the amphitheater in quite a while. Yeah. So where can uh, people get tickets for that? Yeah, so Mountain Arts Center, they're, they're spearheading this. So you can just check on over at macarts.com. You may see ARTS.com. Pick those up um, or give them a call at the box office, and they'll take care of you. That's or just show up at the door, too. That's fine also. I do think there's a slight increase at the door. Um, so if you're on the fence, go ahead and get those. Save a couple bucks. Get them ahead yeah. of time and then and then come on over. And how do people get involved with the cocktail crawl? Yeah, so that is also up on our, on our calendar page on Prestonsburg Tourism. Also, if you just check out, uh, there's about a million things on the tourism Facebook page <laughs> right now. But also, if you just go to the Appalachian Strings and Things Facebook page, uh, you'll see a link for it. You can just pick up your tickets there. It's $30, includes four stops, four specialty drinks, and your transportation. You get to hang out with me and Brooke for a little bit, so it's, it's, it's a good deal. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be an incredible time. And also, just uh, the very next day after the last day of the Appalachian Strings and Things Festival is Star City Day. Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Yes. Yeah, I am so thrilled. You know, it is probably my favorite event in Prestonsburg. And I definitely have to give a big shout out to Jenna and Jared McGuire, uh, Nicholas Jamerson, some other artists that came together to really create this event over five years ago. Um, it was entirely community led and, and they really spearheaded it. And this year we're going to be uh, kind of organizing and, and helping out with, with things on a larger scale. Um, and so we're excited. Man, the, the vendors that are coming out to this, what I love about this event is it is truly a celebration of the artistry and the weirdness and the coolness and yeah. just the grooviness that is Prestonsburg. Prestonsburg's a little different than every other town in this area in, a, in its own unique way. And, and Star City Day is just a celebration of that. So we're going to have incredible, from jewelry makers to clothing makers, furniture. We're going to have live paintings going on, live musicians on stage, food. Uh, West Six Brewery is going to be in. Savage Farms is going to be in with some, some wine slushy and brews. And then we're going to have some food and just family games will be there. So you can bring nice. your kids on over. We're going to have some games going on. So it's, it is it is by far my favorite event. It's 5 to 10 on, on Sunday evening, and it'll lead right into, uh, into the fireworks show. So bring a chair if you want to. We'll have some stuff set up to sit on. But if you want to bring a chair, blanket, 10 o'clock hit, and you just get a 
look up at the fireworks. The second largest fireworks show in the state of Kentucky. Yes, sir. That is, I mean, and really, it is mesmerizing, yeah. y'all's fireworks show. It's You can't look away from it. Yeah. Yeah. What I love about the fireworks show here is, I, I don't know if others are like me, but it's it typically runs about 30 minutes, and... There are some shows, and, and they're really cool, but they'll drag out for an hour, but it's like, firework, wait, 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 firework. Yeah. And I just, I got to I gotta move more. I want more excitement. And that's what I love about this one. And it is, from start to finish, it is just explosion <laughs> and yeah, excitement. Exactly. Yeah, for 30 minutes straight of just, like, the most mesmerizing show you've ever seen. That's what, that's what I was saying. Like, it's action-packed. You literally can't look away from yeah. for a second because you never know what you're going to miss. Yeah. And, and literally, anywhere that you're at in downtown Prestonsburg, mm -hmm. there's not a bad seat in the house. There's really not. I mean, as long as you are within the downtown space... Um, I know, not for the full show, but for the finale, people literally all the way at Dewey Lake can see the finale. It's so large Whoa, from the houseboats. Yeah, so if you're over there, check out the finale of it. But if you want the full show, I definitely encourage to, to get a spot um, on downtown and in a stretch somewhere. There's plenty of places to park. And I love how you're also uh, kind of giving the vendors some spotlight on the Prestonburg tourism page. I mean, yeah. if uh, people want kind of a sneak peek of what they can purchase, they have all types of stuff and the talent that some people it's have. Incredible. I'm very jealous. It's to be incredible. Honest. And 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 there's a lot of artists that I've never worked with before that there's some that I've watched their stuff for like the last couple years and, and wanted to work with them. Others that are returning and then others that are are brand new on the scene that are just doing incredible things. We have everything from brick and mortar shops that you love. They're going to be coming out with special deals. And then and then those startups that people really need to watch and like check out what they're doing now. Yeah. But it's, yeah, check us out. Star City, Star City Day. There's an event page on Facebook where we're introducing a couple vendors every day. Um, but it's, it's going to be a good relaxing day where you can shop, get unique stuff. But it's also, it's not a festival. It's not, you know, one of the, it, it, it's just a chance to hang out, meet some great artists, shop some really cool stuff, mm -hmm. listen to music and just, just a great energy that, that we want people to feel relaxed, but also um, a part of a part of the community, whether you live yeah. there, or visit, or, or whatever it might be. Yeah, it's not an overwhelming mm -mm. feeling at all. I mean, it's literally, like you just said, a big hangout is all it is. That's, a, that's the best. It really does feel that way. Star City Day especially is just... It's just a giant hangout with cool people. Yeah, <laughs> that's, yeah that, that, that's a good well, descriptor. Right, that's what all of Prestonsburg is. Oh, I like that. Thank and, you. And if people want something to do in the Star City this summer, where's the best places that they can find all the happenings going on around Prestonsburg? Yeah, so definitely check us out on social media. We have a lot of uh, ongoing stuff from, of course, the, the big events like we just talked about to outdoor things you can do. A lot of stuff going on in July, like a lot of stuff. Um, so definitely just follow up with our our event calendar and community calendar at uh, PrestonsburgKY.org. And then if you ever have any questions about, hey, what's going on this week, just shoot us a message. Uh, we'd love to chat with you also. Samantha, thank you to you and all the other guys and gals there in the Star City for giving us something to do this summer. Y'all always do a great job and looking forward to this weekend. Thank you. Thanks so much for having us. We hope to see you guys out there.